Green. Stop. Sunday. Look around. We've all gone to see. Acting like we're so incurable disease. Five oh one. When everyone stops Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them. Because they change things. They push the human race forward. While some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. I want to take apart some of your reality, some of our reality. Yes, we have to do it to our reality, you know. You must look in the depths of your soul. You must become someone you have never been before. For your dedication, your experience, the fault of their deeds. His Majesty will forgive you, you just like a mad lady. His Majesty will forgive you, you just like a mad lady. It moves your head, it moves your head. More courageous, greater in spirit, larger in power, more intelligent, not to no nation, but to your fellow men, human, within your human community. His majesty world is moving just like a magnet. Chang, lang, 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 lang. His majesty world is moving just like a magnet. It move your hair, it move your hair. Oh, my people give a listening yes. His Majesty World is moving just like a magnet. Something very high is going on, people. I don't understand. I need some help to discern this situation. The situation is not for one to discern. It needs two or more than two. Not the real lot more, but it needs a certain size team, council. <clears throat> I have seen things that are difficult to discern on the highest level. And I can see some things. The highest one I demonstrated before. Let me do it again. The highest issue of discernment, well, whatever. I look at the sun a lot, all right? Now, <clears throat> I use 
different things, binoculars and such, not telescope or whatever, not prescription glasses, plain glass or steer, staring at the sun about three or four days ago, I would perceive the sun in this fashion. It's raining by the way, if you hear the noise or the, or the, the rain. Um, this was the bright sun and I would perceive a disc in front like this and you would only see the ring, the outer ring of the bright sun behind. And the disc was like a duller white, like a <clears throat> like a matte, like a, almost like a metallic, like an off, a very light metallic, whatever, translucent or something, but matte, like flat. And outside that ring was the bright thing. So you would just see the brightness, but if, if you could discern in there, this piece was dull and it was like hiding the sun. Okay? Now, I tried a little test when I was doing it. I had the binoculars and I would move my head like this to try and get a hologram or a tail effect or some digital effect in or whatever. It was just testing, but it wasn't using digital. It's just using the glass. But to my surprise, this is what I this is what I discerned. When I move my head, the sun didn't move. The sun didn't move when I move my head. When I move my head, this thing was moving. If I move my head this way, it's like this would like move to block me. And I tried to think about it and to me it seems like this thing must be on my eye or part of my eye. This pr I have some loose, I think it's the deception is in my eye the lo or how we process it or who we are because I don't think we can be who we are. We have to be like some creature in a dish or something. The way this looks to me, we're just like these eyes out there sensing we're supposed to send back and be connected to the Almighty differently and we're all messed up the way we are. Or something, but you understand this is a very high issue. I sh really shouldn't have started with this issue, man. It almost doesn't make sense to go back on the other stuff and say how everyone's been fooled with like using telescopes and the distance to the sky. I studied Venus. Venus is not Venus. And I understand why there's such a big conspiracy about it is because Venus is used in a stellar parallax a stellar parallax calculation that forms the basic measurement that they say okay the moon is this far and the sun is that far and if you study it's not everything is close we are all close there's something being so hidden from us in these people and they know it and I think it's time people you know there's a, in Greece there's a lot of trouble and all around the world and there's a it was an old farmer, he was 77 or someone, he killed himself in Greece a few months ago and it made a lot of press. And it was because his message, when he killed himself, his message was so stunning. His message was so stunning and it was so censored, but his message was to kill your leaders. There was an old man, 77, in Greece, this guy who killed himself. He didn't want to pass on his death or whatever, but some people say that was a cover story. His daughter, in fact, I think was interviewed and said his, her father was fine and only didn't have anything extraordinary in death. 
It was his message. I'm not saying it, but I'm telling you what that, what Greece is about, and what things is about, and what Mr. Illuminati better knows about. Of course, there's other people who've been more wrong than the Greece. There's other people who've been a lot more wrong than the Greece. Yeah, watch it, Mr. Illuminati. There's other, there's other nation and peoples have been a lot more wrong than the Greece and been wronged by the Greece and the Romans Mr. Illuminati if you think the trouble in Greece Mr. Illuminati do you see what I see Mr. Illuminati do you see what I see Here's are the reality things I wanted to talk to before I even start. If you know about heights, these are different meditations or whatever. You know how some people, when you take a picture of them, they don't like it because you capture the spirit? If you understand that level, if you understand that level, hold it. Because I can take you higher if you really understand that level. Because that has to do with this past thing and not being in the now. And let me take it apart for you. If you understand that level, capturing the picture in the past and holding it, what about a voicemail? Hold it. What about an email? What about this whole concept of everything that we're doing out, all these noise and all these signals we're sending out everywhere. People, we have to be more careful, much more careful with everything. We don't know, and we're being played. 